In this video, we're going to talk about leads versus contacts. You'll notice when you come to contacts in command that there is a new option for leads that is separate from your contacts. So the focus of this will be any lead that comes in from out external sources or any lead you want to add to the system while you're still working and cultivating the lead. So you'll notice when we go to add lead, it's a limited option, meaning it's not all the same fields of contacts like birth date or, you know, who do they know? It's just basic information. So fill this in, right? You've got your name, email address, phone is required. Choose if they're a buyer or seller. If I choose buyer, it gives me different options than if I choose seller. Through here, you can choose your tags and you can decide if it's assigned to somebody or if you're going to do lead routing, which is more on the team side of things. So if I've already created some ones here, I'm going to come to Mickey Mouse as one of my leads that I've added to the system. And this was created 11 days ago. The source was call in. And from here now, it's my job to work this lead. So I can add activity and say that I left a voicemail, right? If I had left him a message, voicemail and save. Now I can track that. And then once I'm ready, I can either move this over to contacts because I've met with them or talked to them. Or even better, I can add to the sales pipeline, which is going to lead, move them into an opportunity and move the contact into my contacts. So I'm going to add it to sales pipeline. It's going to confirm, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And with this, it's going to populate the form to fill in and tell it about the lead. So here's the opportunity section. I will choose my market center. If you have a team, that would be where the team name would show up. Is this a listing lead or a buyer lead? I'm going to choose buyer. It's already got my contacts name in here. I'm going to say test. I can put in my information. What's my budget? Am I cultivating this lead still or we're we watching or do we actually talk to this person? So I'm going to say a hot lead because I'm looking to set my appointment. Test. I can assign it if I had a team and then from here now I can create the opportunity. This has not only moved the lead into my contacts, now I've got the cultivate stage of my buyer for the Mickey in my sales pipeline. So that's how you manage leads. An extra tip when you're in contacts here and you go to leads is when you're adding a lead or even adding a contact, you'll notice it says um, where the actual source is from. If you can't choose everything in the drop down, just start typing in your source and you'll actually see other sources come up. Because I could say realtor.com, there it is. I can start typing in Zillow and there it will be as well. So wherever this came from, open house, there are all the different ones. So that's your tip of the week. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KDB Connect today.